I found these Pottery Barn mirrors online and I wanted to recreate them and I found this one for $300. And this one, which looks just like frames put together, was actually $600. For this challenge, I'm going to be using nine of these Dollar Tree photo frames in 8x10 size. And this, these are silver. I'm going to take the glass out of all of those and I'm going to use this spray, this mirror um, effects spray, to make each of the glass pieces um, show a mirror and I've been wanting to use this product for a long time So I'm just going to test it out now for the first time and see if it actually works Hopefully it comes out nice. It says it needs five light coats on each and then I'm going to paint the um, Frames white so let's get started So I will be using this board to attach my frames to and I'll use glue hot glue and then this Loctite glue I started taking all the frames apart and I removed all the hardware from the back so that it would be flat when I glue it down. I'm actually using this primer as paint. It's a stain blocking primer and I wanted it to be a um, matte finish. This definitely is matte and it also doesn't cover completely so it kind of um, has a rough look to it which is exactly what I was looking for because I did want this to be um, sort of rustic but I didn't want to give it that um, distressed look. So the paint that I used, this primer actually, did the job perfectly. I touched it up in some areas, but I did only end up needing one coat of this. And here I'm just showing how I removed that piece of wood. I had done that off camera with my jigsaw and then I cut a smaller piece from the leftover piece and I'm going to use that to attach to the top of the mirror where the wood had kind of cut off. Alright, we're just going to take the books off. This piece was drying overnight. So what I'm going to do now is paint around the outside of the whole frame. I 
And this is the final result of the mirror. The sides have all been painted and I wiped it down with um, some Windex. So you can see the, um, kind of see how good the uh, mirror spray worked. And I was going for a farmhouse style rustic mirror. So I think the mirror effects does a good job making it look like that. And this is just another shot of how the mirror effects paint looks. It's not perfect, but it works. And this project cost me just $9 because I already had all the other items. And if you wanted to recreate this and had to purchase everything, it would definitely be worth it. It would probably end up being less than $30. So I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.